reminds me of what's called Charcoal Cave, right next to Hidden Forest Cave. Is there an actual cave there? Just, uh, you can go back about 30 feet, it looks like. Some ice right here. Hello everybody, Nate here. You guys remember that crack in the ground video? At the end, I told you there was something else we wanted to find and I was gonna go back to it and film it for you guys. Well, this, this isn't it, but we're in the area, we're getting close and I thought this was too cool to pass up filming so I figured I might as well start my video here. But check this out. It's part of a lava tube right here behind me. This is cool stuff. Looks like there's a little tunnel down there. I don't have my light on me right now because this was just a short walk from the road, but let's go down there and take a look anyways. Go back there a ways? Just to right there. Huh. Well, we're here. Surprised to see so much signage right here behind me. Because on the way in, it wasn't until we got close that there was one little marker on the road that said D Cave on it. And D Cave? Well, that's Derek Cave. And there's something pretty cool about this cave that's made me want to come here for a very long time. And we're finally going to do it. Once we're inside and I find this really cool thing, I'll show it to you guys and tell you a little bit about it. But anyways... Let's go. You need to hand me anything? No, I don't think so. One more bat check. There's some tunnels here going right up above my head, but I don't see a single bat. Oh, okay, that's just like a... Yay, yay, yay. Well, we're getting close. There's a little one right next to it. I think right up here is the big one. Getting excited. Whoa, <laughs> this is huge. To the left? To the right. Wow. Whoa, that thing is huge. Let's see what's this way? Oh, it's like a little, I can see light coming through back there. I'll have to go check this one out from the other side. It looks, looks like a tunnel might go underneath our feet too. Oh, is that it? What is that? What is that? I just noticed that. What is that? Do you see it? door right here. Man, dang, that's huge in there. That's a creepy little entrance. But in the 60s, they actually built this as a fallout shelter inside of this cave. There was a door over this. You can see the grout and stonework that they used to close in the entrance here. There used to be food and water stored down inside of here. 
Could you imagine what that would feel like having to come and live inside of this cave? Oh, it's an eerie, eerie entrance, but really opens up in there. Oh, get, get my headlamp out and we'll go inside and take a look. Okay. Here we enter the shelter. Man, this is huge down here. My headlight might need new batteries. Yep, I'll have to change it whenever we come back up. You want to leave the way so I don't get in front of your footage? It doesn't matter. I'm just thinking this wasn't a good idea. Not, I mean, to make this into a nuclear shelter. Yeah. Well, it seems pretty dry, at least for it being when all the snow runoff would have came in. But man. This would have been very claustrophobic. <laughs> Just oh, this little bit. Yeah. There's the end right there. people they were planning Ooh. on. Oh. What? It, uh, go over there and it's, it smells like just a horde of rat poop or something down in there. I don't want to go over there and smell that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder how many people they were planning on this, this housing if they ever had to use it. Jeez. <laughs> Slippery. Oh, I don't want to crawl through that. Looks like we'll go around. I hope I don't get dripped on. Yeah, they said there's no way down from the skylight without a rope. Oh yeah. Got a cool skylight up here. Looks like there's more holes too. Oh, I can smell the bats. I have to go see that one from up above. Oh, it's getting dark. 
park up here. Oh, I see. Don't want to slide down this hill. <laughs> Ooh. This part looks a little sketchy. Some ice covered rocks to climb over. Three. Oh. See all these? It did, that's cool. That's one of those upside down icicles. Yeah. Just wondering if we got further down here, if there'd be some bigger ones. There's two. Oh, wow. Oh, there's like a big hole up here. tunnel. I'm 
thinking a quarter of a mile is God you come to an end. Yeah. I feel like I've done a half. Well guys, there's the end of Derrick Cave. Some more nice icicles to see. I'm going to put this camera up and see you guys whenever I get back out. It was pretty difficult walking through here without a hand free. <sighs> Made it out. Definitely was easier having that extra hand free for crossing all those icy spots, but man, it was a bit of a workout crossing all that stuff. Would have been nice easy walk if everything was uh, nice and dry and had some grip to it, but trying to climb over all those rocks and not slip, it was a good experience. Now I'm going to go up above, see what those skylights look like. That's a big old hole in the ground. <laughs> Big skylight. Whew. Let's see if we can find that little one. It's right there. It's a different cave. Oh, that's it. There's the other skylight. Looks like there's going to be a crater up here. Oh wow. Nice. <laughs> well we found ourselves a nice place to have lunch and a nice little fire the next video i got something cool to show you guys i hope you enjoyed this one see you next time